Last week, Aldar Properties announced that it is spinning off its real estate investment arm to create a brand new entity. It's big news. What does it mean for the Emirate of Abu Dhabi? You're watching Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence, joined here in the studio by Bern de Boosman. Bern, you covered this story last week. It's big news, really. Uh, tell us about Aldar Properties and what it's done here with this news. Well, it is a very significant announcement. Um, it came following a decree that Aldar subsidiaries can now own property in the Emirate. And when that happened, um, no one was really sure to what it was referring to, what subsidiaries. But then two days later, there was the announcement that now Aldar Investments is its own company. Uh, it has its own board of directors uh, to, to make for greater transparency governance and to, to let everyone know about their cash flows. What they hope to get out of it is a company with reduced operating and capital costs that is more profitable uh, in Abu Dhabi's real estate market. Right. So what assets will Aldar Investments take ownership of? Well, it'll take ownership of some of the more iconic and uh, kind of money revenue generating assets in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it has 5.4 billion in assets. Uh, that includes Yas Mall, for example, the Gate Towers and Arc, and more than 5,000 residential units. Uh, now, to put that in perspective, there's about 500,000 square meters of retail and commercial space that it's also taking ownership of. So they're really the jewels in the Abu Dhabi crown in real estate terms, aren't they? They are, and now it's be, it's actually become the the region's largest real estate investment company uh, as a standalone company. Right. What's been the reaction in the market? Well, it, it's been interesting. Uh, you know, the day of the announcement, uh, Moody's assigned it a BAA1 rating, which is actually higher than Aldar Properties rating. Uh, that allows it to access capital on more favorable terms, independent of Aldar, the parent company. Right. Uh, additionally, they, they said they want to issue a new Sukuk uh, about for Aldar Investments, so that's creating quite a lot of buzz as well. Uh, and overall, um, it's, people are saying it, it's very significant, both in terms of size and what it means for Abu Dhabi's real estate sector. Right, so it's really opened them up to new markets. Uh, it's opened up the funding potential. It, it has. Um, so what, what they're saying is that it kind of encouraging investment into Abu Dhabi as a whole. So it really benefits the Emirate in its entirety. Uh, for example, uh, Aldar Properties Chairman Mohammed Khalifa Al Mubarak said that it is designed to give investors an opportunity to tap into Abu Dhabi's real estate market, which is performing quite well. And uh, additionally, other people have said it's heartwarming to see that Aldar is tapping into Abu Dhabi's real estate sector and that it, this is really kind of a milestone in Abu Dhabi because there's nothing like it in the past. All right. Right. Okay. So big news for Abu Dhabi. Hopefully Indeed. kickstart things with uh, the real estate sector or move them along, certainly. Thank you, Bern. Uh, you've been watching Inside AB. Please do join us every weekday at 10 a.m. and we'll see you next time.